Hi, this is Mike with Backroads Vanner. And you know what bugs me? Is these bugs flying around, getting in my van at night when I'm trying to sleep. Well, I created a solution. And today I'm gonna share it with you. I'm gonna show you how to make one of these bug screens that keeps all those pesky little guys out at night so you can get a decent night's sleep. So climb in, buckle up. Let's go get the supplies and let's get this project started right now. Hey, welcome to my home away from home, the Home Depot. Today I'm going to show you where we buy the screening material for this screen project. And there's a lot of different varieties out here. As you can see down here, you've got aluminum screens, you've got fiberglass screens. But the one that I recommend blocks out 90% of the heat. It makes it easy to see out, but not so easy to see in. And that's why I like this product so well. Uh, this product is the purple one right here and it comes in a 48 by 84 roll. And if you noticed in my video, cargo van to camper van, uh, when I gave you a tour of the van and I showed you the screens, in the back, the screen doesn't go all the way to the bottom. So I used a piece of canvas material just across the bottom. It gives it a little durability and keeps it from um, uh, rubbing or tearing or anything like that. But it's a 48 by 84 is the one that I would recommend for this project. And as you can see, they have it in different sizes. They have it in 48 by 20 or 36 by 25 and 48 by 25. I think those rolls might be a little big um, for this project. And I think if you measure and make sure, uh, but I think a 48 by 84 should be sufficient. And it's $18.48 at this Home Depot. And if you can't find it, I know they sell it online as well. So this is the one that I would recommend for this project. And let's get started and get this thing made. We're going to head over to Joanne Fabrics and I'm going to show you to buy, where to buy the, uh, the rest of the materials we need for this project. Okay, well today we're at Joanne Fabrics. You could go to any fabric store to get these items, but today I brought you to Joanne Fabrics. This is where you're going to get your belting for the edge around the screen. This is a heavy duty material, and I'll show you where you can find that. Down here they have a wide selection, all different colors. The main thing you're going to look for is getting it at least two inches wide. You need the two inches to wrap around the screen, around the back, and around the front. Now I'm using white to show you the, the uh, difference in color so you can see where it is. But you can get any color that's going to go with uh, uh, your design. But the important thing to do is get plenty because it's going to have to go all around the parameter of your screen, all around the outside, and give yourself a little extra too for the ends. And then the next thing you're going to need is the heavy duty snaps. And the heavy duty snaps are right here in the same department. There's 24 to a package and you'll need several packages and the tools are inside the package that you're going to need to install those and I'll show you how to do that. Oh, I love this place. <laughs> All right. Today I'm going to show you how to make this screen and as you can see or not see you can't see anything inside the van. That's what I love about this. It's got a 90%, there's those pesky bugs. It's got a 90% uh, sunblock so that you can't see in, but it makes it great for seeing out. So if you got your material and got the same thing that I got at Home Depot, uh, this screen material is very flexible and everything, uh, very durable and nice. Now, what I recommend is taking measurements for whatever your vehicle or van or whatever you're using it for, and measure this across the top, the middle, the bottom, or use something else for a pattern and cut your screen out. Now you wanna leave yourself at least a couple inches extra on the side so that it can overlap um, where it snaps on. So give yourself just a little extra room on the ends, both of the ends. And once you've cut your screen material, you've gotta cut a little gap in it for, uh, for this door latch that you've got up here. And I sewed a little bit of this belting around that so that it doesn't uh, tear or uh, shred. Let me show you what I did with mine. You take the belting 
uh, material that you got. Um, I showed you where to buy this at Joann Fabrics. Uh, if you can buy it a little wider, that's great, but I just used this one here. And if you lay your screen, after you've cut it all out, lay your screen halfway over this belting material and stitch all along the edge so that that is sewn on. Then you'll come back and you'll fold your belting material over like this and you'll stitch it again all around the end. And that keeps this edge from fraying and makes this very strong and durable because that's what we're going to attach the snaps to. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is get a pattern or cut your screen out and make it a little extra big so that you've got room for this and room to snap it on the sides. Now if you remember at Home Depot, I told you this only comes down uh, so far and it would leave a gap across the bottom. And this is the um, canvas material that I sewed onto the bottom just a little bit across. And this is going to rub on the floor and um, give yourself a little extra room for that right there. Uh, so I sewed this across the bottom uh, just to make sure I got full coverage from the top to the bottom. Okay, now that you've got your screen cut to the right size and you were able to sew this um, belting onto the edge of your screen and if you chose to put something across the bottom which was the material that I chose to put across there now it's time to add your snaps and put your snaps on and I'm going to show you how I did that this is this is the window uh, the screen for the side window and I'm going to use this for my example that I'm going to show you what I did first was put in the snaps along the edge here and basically all you do is put a drill a small hole let me open this basically all you do is drill a small hole and you're going to put your screw right through this and this is the side that's going to attach to the uh, frame of the, the door. Don't use this one. This is not the right one. You can tell the difference of these two. You're going to take this one here and you're just going to drill a small hole and put it right there and put a small screw. That screw cannot protrude from the outside of this, this snap right here. It's got to be flush so it's a small one and I forgot to show you those at Home Depot. But just get a small screw and you're going to attach these about every 10 inches along the frame of your uh, door. And I'll show you where I put mine on the front door. But that's the first thing you're going to do. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to install the snaps. First of all, you're going to want to poke a hole in your screening material, in this belting material along the edge. And the first snap is the most important. So you're going to want to line it up and make sure that you're putting it in the, in the exact location that you want. Poke a hole through here. Now there's several different pieces and parts that comes in this snap kit. Um, there's the two tools that you're going to need for, for creating and making these snaps. And then there's four different pieces. And this one piece that stands up like this, you're not going to need that one. Okay, so you can get rid of that. The pieces you're going to need is this end piece, which is the finished end. You're going to need this, which is the, the part that goes on the inside. And then this piece right here is the one that is going to be screwed into the side of your, your frame on your window or your door. And uh, after you attach your first one, and I told you, you just kind of put them about every 8 to 10 inches or wherever you need it to be pulled tight, and you mount this. Then you're going to come and you're going to take this finished end, and you're going to figure out which side is the inside and which side is the outside of your screen. And this is going to poke through the outside. And then you're going to take this other piece, and you're going to slide it over the top and it just slides over just like that and then what you're going to do is take this piece right here and it's going to fit on the bottom of that and you can tell it's got a little curved um, rounded uh, indention on that and then you're going to take this tool right here now remember this is stuck through there you're going to take this tool right here and that little tip on the end of it is going to go right there and you're going to hit that with the hammer. And when you hit that with the hammer, it bends that out. 
and that attaches it. And that's how this is attached. You can see where the inside of that is uh, bent down to hold that snap tight on there. And you don't have to hit it very hard because you'll you'll do like this. This there's a little indentation on the top of my snaps if you hit them too hard. It gets very tedious. But what I did is after I did the first one, I snapped that on in place so that I knew that was where it was at. And I made sure that I had room to go on both sides. And then I came over here and inserted a, drilled a little hole and inserted this other uh, end. And then I came back, took the screen off and marked exactly where I wanted to put the second one and put the second one there and snapped that up. And I just worked my way around to make sure that it was like that. And this is the finished product, and this is the side window um, that I use for the side of the van. And I have little tweeters, uh, little speakers inside the door. So I just made a little slot like this to put it, uh, to fit it over that. And um, this is the finished product. Now, I said before in my other video, I'm not a seamstress. So this isn't perfect by any means, but it's just how I, it's just how I made it. Um, I'm open to anybody's suggestions. If you have better ideas on how to do this, please comment down below. Put your remarks down there so that you can help other people learn how to do this and makes it better for everybody. I'm going to show you how this attaches on the side door and show you a couple extra little things that I did for the side doors. Okay, so this is the screen that I made for this side over here. And like I showed you, this is the little slot that I have for the tweeter. But if you'll notice right here on the front, I put a little Velcro. I did. I ran these snaps up and around the outside of the door frame and the inside of the door frame. But when I got back in here, I didn't put any snaps. I just put a little bit of Velcro up there just to keep it um, keep it tucked up in there. So this one fits very easily over the tweeter. And I put it over that tweeter first, and then I bring it up. And some of these are easier to put on, and you can tell they fit kind of tight. Some of these are easier to put on first, stretching it and pulling it that way, and then stretching it up and putting it on like this. Anyhow, you get the idea. Works perfect for that. So this is the driver's side door. Got that screen in there. And I wanted to show you that even though that screen's on and it's pulled along, along this edge right here, the door still opens and closes uh, without a problem. And I don't worry too much about the bottom down here. It's pulled pretty tight. And this is where I put that Velcro so you can pull it tight and attach it to that Velcro. I don't worry too much about that little space, especially if you have the window up just a little bit. But um, but you could, you could put some Velcro or something along the bottom if you want. Let's go back to the back. As I showed you before, they're very easy to take off. And um, because you've got that, that belting around the edge, you don't have to worry about uh, ripping your screen. Got a hair on me, or a spider. Yep. So I hope this video helps you. And if you make some screens for the back of your van or the side or whatever vehicle, vehicle you have, please take a few pictures. Send them our way. We'd love to share them. And if you have any tips uh, for anybody else doing this, please leave your comments down below. We'd love to hear from you. And uh, hope you like this video. If you did, leave us a thumbs up. Uh, I don't know what all the thumbs up stuff means on uh, YouTube, but we sure appreciate it. So give us a thumbs up if you like it. And if you haven't subscribed already, please do so because I am interviewing some great van builders and I can't wait to share those guys with you and bring you some great content coming your way. So if you haven't already subscribed, please do so. And if you have subscribed, thank you from the bottom of our hearts. We appreciate you so much and we're gonna keep bringing you content like this. So keep watching. And this is Mike from Backroads Vanner saying, we'll see you on down the road, make it a back road and keep those pesky bugs out of the back. <laughs>